Hey everyone, Layered Braids tutorial here, so let's get into it. So the most important step in getting your layered braids is to cut your extension in layers and this is the down part of the layers, that's the lowest part. So I'm cutting it into three, okay, because I wanted, I, I think three was just perfect for the length I was going for. So if you want yours to be four, cut four, cut two just do you boo but for me i went with cut three for my length so i just cut it into three i'm sure you could see the way that i folded it just to make sure i get the appropriate length okay So after cutting the extension you're going to have blunt ends okay and that's not the braids i'm going for so of course i'll have to pick the ends so it's easy for me to braid and it doesn't loosen up when i'm braiding okay guys if you want to have clean ends then it's advisable you use your mirror okay yes we are going to use senses to feel if the line is straight but mirror is really important because you'd be able to see what you're doing okay okay as you can see i just cut this line and then i used this mirror to see the one at the back to make sure that it's straight and when i made sure it was straight i did the same thing yeah the vision is just going to be so clear and you'd see what you're doing so this is the thickness of the extension that i used for each braid i used three of that thickness okay so first off you cut your hair into three and then you braid it and then i think about three times or two whichever one is perfect for you just do that and then you go ahead and start attaching your extension so this is the first one after this i'll apply another one and then another one and then i braid downwards so i'm just going to let you watch and understand what i'm doing I forgot to mention that I was going for three layers so I sectioned my hair into three and this is the back and I have the middle and then the front so I'm done with the back right now and this is the longest extension okay and this is the middle part so we're going to get into the middle part as you can see the extensions are not equal okay this one is I cut it into three and then the other one was into four so you should note that just in case you didn't get the other demonstration i'm going to say it again so of course you get the extension and then you get three of it because we are going for not less and then you separate your hair into three you weave it to an extent and then you start attaching the extension so you do it three times the first one you braid to a point and then you add the second one and then you add the third one and then you braid downwards so that's just what i did what's in your coffee i hope you call me and we can talk about our hobbies yeah like finding movies to get lost in, in 
I'm quoting freezes from the office. What's it like to wear that halo? So sweet, it's painful. So would you put me on your payroll, girl? I know it's probably not too healthy. You got me over here obsessing. Whoa. Friends call me stupid, call me crazy. Well, so long to sanity. Couple weeks in Costa Rica where we both can kick it. I give you my sovereignty. We play Monopoly. You won't afford rock, but you're living in my head rent free. So after each layer, you need to tie the ends, okay? And make sure that it's not the same length with the previous layer. I'm sure you should understand what I mean. So this is me comparing the ends. And when I saw that the back layer was longer than the middle, I went ahead and braided my hair so make sure you tie the ends just take note of this layers guys if you want to achieve a layered braid Okay guys, for the front um, braid, I'm going to cut it into five because that's the shortest length. So this is just what I'm doing, cut it into five and yeah, that's it. When you pick the end of your braids, it's going to be tangled. So this is the way you untangle it. You separate it into bits and just make sure that it's able to separate. <laughs> After doing that, you apply a hair cream or hair oil, just something to moisturize the hair. And then you brush it. That way you have a smooth, extension to work with so you can't miss this <laughs> no 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 you cannot miss this this is what makes your extension really smooth so don't miss this okay Oh, uh -huh. 
Okay, so the braids is finally done, but we still have work to do, okay? At this point, you need to trim your hair because, yeah, they'll be flyaways. So you need to trim them so your hair lasts longer. And you need the scissors for this process, of course, a mirror, and you'd be able to see flyaways. So if your scissors is sharp, you won't have a problem. Mine was blunt, but I could try and yeah it, it, it got results <laughs> so just you know try your best okay <laughs> you can't do so much because you're doing it yourself but just try your best and see the flyaways and get rid of it at this point i'm going to trim the ends okay because i don't want it to be this full i want it to have i just want it to have a natural end okay at this point it's so full so just trim it according to the to the layers of the braids that you've made so yeah that's just what i'm doing need to mention that you can't use the scissors for this process you need a razor blade um there's a there's another blade that you can use if you have that i'm going to insert a picture of it if you have that that's better but this is what i have now and we still have work to do so i do have a hot comb so i'm just going to make do with what i have i just got this rod and then called the ends around it and then got a rubber band and wrapped it up put it in hot water you're just going to see everything okay And I apply the spray so the curls will hold longer. I'm not sure it made so much difference because it just made it stiff. But you need um, a hairspray. If you can get spritz, that would be better. But this has got to be glue. After taking the rods out, you need to hold it with a pin so it dries up. As you can see, I'm just seeing the layers so I don't make, mix it up. So I'm going to do the same process, roll it on that rod, wrap it up with a rubber band, put it in hot water, dry it up, put a spray gel, and then remove the... If you have more of these rods, then I actually advise you leave it till it dries up. The cores will last longer that way. I didn't have much of it, so I just made use of this one. So after that, I use the pin to hold the cause and let it dry. So right now, I'm done with the whole hair. So I'm just going to take off the hair pin. As you can see, it just curled a bit. So I'm going to cut it where I want 
my lens to stop okay so yeah guys the next clip you are going to see is two weeks after I got really busy to make videos and of course the calls fell so if you want to maintain it you definitely need that hot comb thank you guys for watching walk into the club step right out say no no tonight i'm gonna spend by myself my solo remind myself to love myself nobody else gonna hold me down down gave it all away been on high speed go go tonight i'm needing me and a pre-roll to go cause i just need to feel the love yeah when i want to feel the love i give it to myself i can't get it from nobody else